What is going on everybody? My name is Eaton and welcome to a sort of an analysis video here on the channel. As you guys may or may not know, the Doctor Strange world premiere was on last night and that would be the 20th of October. Now during that there was a sponsor and the sponsor you can see by the lady holding the microphone is uh, just on the left hand side next to where it says Marvel. It does indeed say Marvel Contest of Champions. So they were like a little sponsor. I'm not quite sure if they were the only sponsor in the, uh, the red carpet premiere uh, but they were indeed a sponsor. And uh, because of this, they had their own little, you know, input into uh, sort of promoting themselves. And that's where this lady on the left uh, comes into play, the one in the black, uh, black dress. And um, <clears throat> so they talked about Marvel Contest of Champions. They showed us some new clips, some new gameplay, two new characters and some new UI for the game. Uh, the UI standing for user interface, which is, which is the way the game looks, how the buttons are, you know, how the game feels and how everything operates, etc. So in today's video, we're going to take a little bit look at that gameplay, at that UI, and we're going to sort of analyze, uh, ana analyze it, sorry, and uh, try and come up with what's going to be coming down the line later down the line for Marvel Contest of Champions. So without further ado, let's have a look and see what these guys have to say. So our broadcast today is sponsored by Marvel Contest of Champions from Kabam. It's a mobile game, and you've played this quite a bit, right? I have. It's a mobile game for uh, Android and Apple devices, and it's sort of a fighting game. Uh, but what's really cool about a lot of our Marvel games, and specifically Marvel Contest of Champions, is we have special in-game content mm -hmm. that coincides with the film release. Okay, so she just talked about having special in-game content with the film's release. Now, we have seen this in the past, and I believe they started it when they did the Civil War, that coming alongside with the Civil War film that came out, the Captain America one. Um, so now what she's implying is that when Doctor Strange comes out, we will be getting a new event quest. Now, this is sort of, you know, um, this wasn't to be out of the bloom, like, oh my god, we're going to get a quest for Doctor Strange. Um, it was sort of, you know, we could see it coming. However, we didn't exactly know when or where. So uh, my guess is uh, there are two different release dates for the game, uh, for the game, for the film. Uh, in UK, it comes out this Tuesday coming, which is the Tuesday 25th. And for the US, it comes out November the 4th. So my guess is it will probably be either near about November the 4th time, which is US time, which is where Kabam, the company of Marvel Contest of Champions, they make the game. So my guess is they're going to base it off of November 4th or somewhere nearer to that time um, and not so nearer to the time of um, October the 25th, which is UK time. And we also have it for Marvel Studios Doctor Strange. Excellent. So that probably means that there's a new quest this time around, yeah? There is. There's going to be the Sorcerer's Conclave quest where Doctor Strange comes to you and he entreats you that they need more mystical heroes to take on a great foe and to find guillotine. Mm. Uh, so you can imagine it will be fun. Yeah. Well, I really like the idea of having Doctor Strange in my pocket, <laughs> um, but we also have, a, as Lorraine said, a couple new characters like mm -hmm. Doctor Voodoo. That's right. We have Jericho Drum, who's a Haitian voodoo doctor, mm -hmm. and something that's Okay, so as you can see here, they've got two clips side by side. On the left, they've just been talking, but on the right is more interesting. We can see that we've got some new gameplay with Dr. Voodoo here, and uh, the big main standout is that <coughs> he has a buff for himself, and it is a regeneration one, which is absolutely insane. Uh, having a regeneration node on a champion is really, really viable and really awesome, and it helps out to have so much in the future. Um, and then also on the right hand side <coughs> where the um, Karnak is, you can also see there's a little bit of a debuff and that debuff is in that yellow circle, I believe, with a little skull on it. This may be the new ability that she's going to talk about in which um, Dr. Voodoo is able to steal an opponent's buff uh, and then transfer it to himself whilst also be able to deal it out damage. So that could be a really, really viable thing. It could make Dr. Voodoo incredibly strong and used probably more than Dr. Strange very cool about the character is that he has that magical give and take and so what he actually is able to do his special ability is he can steal buffs from the other character use them against him and deal damage so as the spokeswoman just said um he is able to be able to take the opponent's buff and then put it on him. And I believe that is what that um, that Spirit Venom buff was. I believe, you know, you can apply multiple stacks to that and then however stacks you've got can take as many buffs from that champion, transfer it over to Dr. Voodoo, and then as she said, while she's doing that, still being able to deal out damage. And that could prove so useful if you're going up a person that's got like you know lots of crit buffs or if they've got armor buffs you can just take that from that champion apply it to dr voodoo while still dealing out damage to them and they won't have that buff anymore until they're able to reactivate it again 
so that they can't use them against you, which is very fun. <laughs> Luckily, he's not the only new character. You also have Mordo. That's right. He's the Marvel Cinematic Universe of Mordo. So as you can see, we now are on to Mordo. Uh, this champion looks really cool and really awesome. He's got the same sort of attire that is uh, seen him wearing it in the film. And uh, he looks really cool, really awesome with his pole stuff. And... Um, you can't really see much about it from the gameplay that they've shown, but they did show that he has got a buff on him, which is similar to that of Crossbones, where he's got that countdown timer, and probably once that ends, that's when he's going to apply a buff. Um, I've got a little bit of a feeling as to what buff it may be, and that can be uh, linked to when we see his uh, bio page, uh, and that is his signature ability, which is Magical Barrier, or no, Mystical Barrier, I think it's called. So I think with that particular champion, once that timer has gone down, that is when his buff will then um, be active. And uh, then what I think about that buff, we'll talk into it a little bit more when we see that bio page. So he might look a little similar to Chiwetel Ejiofor in the film. Uh, and he also studied underneath the Ancient One, as did Doctor Strange. So they'll have some similarities, but some definite differences as well. So probably the biggest point in this screenshot right now is that uh, Mordo is able to imply, guys, he is able to uh, give the opponent a degenerating debuff. And that is absolutely insane, absolutely awesome that uh, uh, Kabam have actually done that to Mordo. He will be so useful in uh, Labyrinth, he'll be useful in, you know, the final acts, um, master quests. So the fact that he can apply that degenerating uh, debuff is absolutely outstanding. I uh, applaud Kabam from that, so that's really good. We've finally got a champion besides Maestro that can apply a debuff such as um, degeneration. And uh, then on the left hand side, you can also see that he also um, got the buff of power gain. Now that might have been uh, because the countdown timer had expired. So that is the buff that was then applied to Mordo. Um, or it could be the fact that he's got hit or whatever. Mordo himself wasn't awakened. So we don't know what his actual signature ability does. So what we've got to assume is that when that countdown timer does uh, eventually expire there we might get a random choice of uh, buff for Mordo and that might be why we got the power gain and speaking of Doctor Strange he of course is already in the game we get to see him battle Loki right yes that's right he is getting a little mischievous there will be some mystical foes in there also you've seen Karnak and Moon Knight and now Loki so I think it will be a lot of mischievous fun <laughs> I'm always up for mischief we want to say thanks again to Marvel Contest of Champions from Kabam for sponsoring this broadcast thank you guys yeah. and be sure to check it out on your mobile device on the App Store and Google Play where it is free to download yay free So here we are able to see what the new UI for Marvel Contest of Champions is going to pretty much look like. Um, whether or not this is the final development or whether or not there is more stages to come and whether it might change slightly is yet to be confirmed. However, what they've done at the moment is actually really nice and really clean. I love the whole look and the feel, the flat UI that they've got going on here. Um, it looks particularly well and I think it really looks outstanding. I know some people might not like it, but others like myself might like it instead. And uh, I love the fact that on the on the left hand side you've got pretty much you know the basic bio and the basic information of the champion, and on the right hand side you've got you know your signature ability, then you've got the abilities of that champion as well, and then at the bottom you also see you've got uh, the champion boost, and you can also use items. Now I feel this can be really really useful for those that do arena a lot. They can just click on the champion, uh, click on info, and then apply like a 1.5 times multiplier to that champion instead of going back home, back into your inventory, and then applying the boost. Through there so <clears throat> besides that point i really think the ui is looking pretty sweet and you can see there are two there are like new two symbols uh underneath the abilities for dr strange uh, we've got the fate seal which you already know about and evocation which i think is we already know about i think is in there at the moment um but you see they've started adding these new symbols and they started making it really look really really nice So now that we've just seen Doctor Strange's uh, moves, but you already know about that, now let's go on to Mordor. We can see his stats here has a rank 1 uh, out of 5 and rank 1 25. His PI is a little bit lower than Doctor Voodoo's, um, I think. Um, but the synergy bonuses are what makes this guy really, really, really good. And you see he's got two crit team nodes 
which means he's got two crit um, bonuses when paired up with two other champions. And this could be really, really useful if you pair him with a crit team that can be used in with pair with uh, Scarlet Witch. So if, say, for example, if you haven't got two of the characters, you could essentially use Mordor um, and then uh, have that advantage of having two extra crit um uh, synergies compared to just having one and uh, on the on the right hand side you can see his mystical barrier that's what I was talking about um, a little bit earlier on where I thought that countdown was going down and that's when it will activate his uh, ability but then seeing when that counted down and it gave him the ability for power uh, gain I think that the signature ability would be something more of like reducing incoming damage uh, or something along those lines and you can see there on his abilities you've got the degeneration and you've got soul barb and mirror realm uh, degeneration we obviously know about uh, Mirror Realm, in my guess of that, and I'm going to go for, is that Mordo, Mordo will be able to um, essentially copy maybe some of the buffs that your opponent has got. And uh, Soul Barb, I have no idea what that is, and I cannot wait to actually find out. So just then we were, we were able to see Mordu's uh, level 1 and his level 2 attacks and I must say they look pretty pretty awesome and I absolutely cannot wait to see them guys. They look so good and just how like in the film where um, the big, uh, what's the woman, the elderly woman who teaches Doctor Strange, she does that thing where she pushes him and he like sort of goes back into that little, uh, into you know the other dimension or the other reality and that's essentially what Mordo, uh, Mordo's um, level 1 I believe it was. So that looked really, really cool. Um, next up, now we've got Dr. Voodoo, which is the last um, uh, champion that is featured, that is new to the game in this uh, sort of trailer. As you can see here, he's got quite a high PI compared to uh, Mordo. So really looking forward to that. And he's also got the synergy bonuses, another crit synergy as well. So my guess is him, uh, Mordo, and perhaps maybe if they're going to change up Dr. Strange or add a couple of different um, champions, then they could form probably their own little crit team, which could be really useful and could be extremely good for those that maybe don't have Scarlet Witch and uh, then on the right hand side you can see that his signature ability is Brother Daniel um, unfortunately from that we cannot get anything from it um, I mean I would try and guess what it was but I have literally no idea where to go from there but um, underneath that you can also see that the abilities are Spirit Venom Power Burn and Power Steel Power Steel pretty self-explanatory the Power Burn I'm guessing it's just exactly going to be like um uh, the visions level two and in spirit venom i'm guessing that is going to be the ability that the spokeswoman said that dr voodoo will have where he will be able to steal a buff from your opponent and then will be able to use that buff um and then deal additional damage whilst the opponent not being able to use that buff so that looks pretty good and i can't wait to actually see all these champions come into the game but I'm going to run the rest of the trailer now. There's nothing new. It's just some gameplay of uh, Guillotine. And then obviously then the exiting logo. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And I hope you, I've gone over some of the topic and addressed things. And I'm very, very excited for these two new champions. And for the UI design for Marvel Contest of Champions. But so if you did enjoy this video, then please make sure to leave a like. It's very, very much appreciative. And if you subscribe, you can always stay up to date on my videos. So thanks a lot, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video. So take care. And bye-bye.